Ange. Hi. Listen, um... I shouldn't have done that. It... It won't happen again. I... It's just that... I love you so much, Angie. And... You know, it... It tears me apart that... You know, we're not close like we used to be. You know, like... When the three of us were a family when we first had Michaela. I don't remember us ever being a family. Just listen, please. I'm gonna do better. I really am. I, I just need you to trust me. You are all that I have. You're all that I have. Okay? Oh, and I want to take you and Michaela to lunch tomorrow. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go around, I don't know, two? Great. Okay, great. I had a bad dream last night. I did too. I was in a room all alone. It was really dark. I don't know how I got there. There was someone hurting me really bad and I had scratches all over my face. That's never gonna happen to you, okay? I'm never gonna let that happen to you. Dad? 
I thought she wasn't gonna be here. I mean, we were just having such a good time. I'm, I... It's the same thing with you. I am, I'm so sick of you. Eric! I said I could do this on one condition and it did not involve Angie. Eric! Eric! Wait! I'm tired. Eric! Eric, please! Please don't go! Eric! Mom? Why did you have to come home so early? Well, I didn't, uh, I didn't know that dad was gonna be here. Mom, what was he even doing here? Wait, have you been seeing dad all this time? Have you? Just go to your room. Mom, please tell me the truth. Have you been seeing dad this whole time? You told me that dad didn't want anything to do with us, so why was he here? Why did you lie to me? Angie, I said go to your room! What are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you. Are you crying? No. It's just a little dusty in here. It's just irritating my eyes, that's all. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. The other day when I was here, you said you buried the memory of dad a long time ago. Angie. I'm not trying to start anything. I just want to know how you were able to do it. How were you able to truly let go of him? Said I would never tell you. Tell me what? Couldn't tell you then. stop seeing him. What do you mean? I didn't let him go, Angie. What are you talking about? Dad walked out that day and you said you didn't know where he was. I know. I know. I couldn't tell you then. I, I couldn't risk him leaving me again. So Dad really only walked out on me? Wow. You know what? A part of me knew. A part of me always felt like dad was still around in some way. Yeah. The way you jump up to answer the phone and jump in front of me whenever someone answers the door. Yeah. It makes sense now. Did you ever even try to leave him? I tried. So many times to leave him. But I I just I couldn't. I couldn't. Every time I would try to leave, I would just fall right back in. I mean, your father, he knew exactly what to say to make me stay. To keep me around. And I believed him every time. I was ashamed. And I was angry. I was angry with you. Because you were the only thing keeping me from letting him back in entirely. When I found out he passed, It broke me. I...
felt relieved. So I was finally free. I could finally stop torturing myself. Jared. He, uh, he reminds me a lot of Dad. Jared, he, he, um, he hits me. Growing up, I always told myself I could never be with a man like that. I'd never let my child go through what I've been through. You ain't never been grateful for nothing. Angie, I put food on this table. I didn't want to hit you. You should have went to that abortion clinic. Nina, start using that brain of yours. Angie, I'm sorry. I feel like I have to leave him. I don't know how or where I'd even go or if I'd even be able to leave him for good this time, but I have to for Michaela. You know, you come from a long line of abuse. Your grandmother and her mother and her mother you never told me that. Yeah, well, none of them, none of them were able to get free, including me. The other day, when I was saying you were just like me, you're not. You're not, Edge. And I don't want you to be. I don't want you to be like your grandmother's either. You know. You've always had this boldness and strength that I envy. And for all we know, he has 70 more years left on this earth. You deserve better. Do it for us. Do it for Michaela. Do it for yourself. Eric's passing has me thinking about so much. And I just wish it didn't take me this long. I should have been a better mother to you. And I'm so sorry. I think you tried as hard as you could. And you got as far as you could. You did the best you could with what was given to you and what you had. I forgive you, Mom. You're gonna be a much better mother than I ever could be. Yeah. You're gonna go so much further than I ever could go. You just gotta keep going. You got it. Okay, now you just playing around. <laughs>